Hi, I'm Laurie, and welcome to your 25-minute cardio and ab hit body weight only workout. What you need today, yourself, that is it. I'm also recommending a mat around because we will be coming to your back at multiple times during this workout. And of course, you may want hydration and a towel around as well. Here's today's format. We have interval training. We have two and a half minutes of total work before we get a break. Here's how we're splitting it up. The first 60 seconds will be a low impact cardio variation, body weight only. The intensity will be right around moderate intensity. So think like 60 60 to 75% of your max effort. After that 60 seconds is up, we're immediately going into a high intensity exercise for 30 seconds. Now this exercise will require a jump. Think maximum effort, it is only 30 seconds. After that high intensity exercise is over with, we will then do 60 seconds of an abdominal focused exercise. So to recap, the first 60 seconds, low impact, moderate intensity, second 30 seconds, high intensity, power exercise, and then that final minute we'll be focusing on the abs, letting the heart rate come down before repeating. Now we're just repeating that format. Every exercise today is non-repeat. However, if we do one side of the body, we will be matching it on the other side as well. Something to consider is pace and tempo. You and I are different, so we never ever have to go at the same speed or same tempo. I want you to find an intensity, a speed, a pace, a tempo that feels challenging for you while maintaining really great form and just getting a great workout throughout. So that may mean you may need to go faster than me or you may need to go slower than me. Again, this is your workout, so make it your own. Now there is a jump in today's workout. That second exercise will always contain a jump. If you wanna keep it low impact, keep it low impact. You can always just stick with the previous exercise. Our first block is our warm up block. It's still gonna be challenging, so go ahead, grab what you need, which is yourself, maybe a water, maybe a mat, and let's get going. Our first exercise, tap jacks to punch. We're just warming up. So we're gonna tap for two and then punch for two and just keep the taps consistent throughout. After that, just look up in the corner for the next exercise. It's going to be a more powerful, explosive movement. All right, y'all, this begins our workout. 60 seconds on in three, two, and one. Let's go. I'm saying let's go. You're saying maybe. Let's find a disco You're stuck at home being so lazy First power exercise of the day, we have three jumping jacks to one X jump. So on that fourth rep, big power. Let's go. Come to the mat in three, two, and one. Now we're on to our abdominal focus exercise. Make an X with the body. Exhale as we reach up and over. X reaches. Don't lead with the neck. This is not a neck crunch, so I want you to make the contraction with the abs. If needed, support your head to make sure you're not lifting from the neck. So keep the neck nice and neutral throughout. Keep the movement in the low back to a minimum as well. We're trying to target the front. And if we have a lot of movement in that spine, we'll start to feel it in the erectors more so than the abs, which is something to consider. Last three, two, 
and one, stand it back on up. Next up, we have a squat, so alternating knee in with rotation. So we're gonna squat it down, exhale, rotate. Don't just touch, think about twisting from the abs. Let's go. Next up, we have high knees. We're gonna pick up the tempo. Really feel the lower abdominals contract here. In three, two, one, here's your goal. Land soft. Bicycle crunches are next. In three, two, and one. On the ground, here we go. Again, think about twisting. It's we're not just touching like this. Twist from the thoracic part of the spine. Slow the heart rate down. It got up on us. Now we're focusing on really contracting the abdominals, the obliques. Last three, two, and one. Standing on up, 15 seconds. Next up, we have a side shuffle with the knee in. So if we're going to the right, left knee comes in, and then vice versa. Moderate intensity. Let's do it. Three, two, one, knee in. Three, two, one, knee in. Next up, we have Heisman. Same kind of movement pattern, but we're picking up that intensity, y'all. High intensity, max effort in three, two, and one. Three, two, in. Three, two, in. Let's pick it up, 10 seconds. Bicycle with a leg lift is next. And three, two, on the back. Adding on to those bicycles, three bicycles. Hold, leg lift for two. Again, three bicycles, hold. Now you're on the other side, leg lift for two. Three, two, Hold, up for two. Other side. Three, two, hold, up for two. 
You got it. Last three, two, and one. Bring it on up. All right, let's see if we can get up with no hands. Woo! Get up with hands if needed. <laughs> That's a nice little extra challenge for us. All right, side shuffle, iso squat. So we're in an iso squat position, and we're just going to take it side to side, all right? Make sure. <laughs> Aware of your surroundings. Ears are next. Think maximum distance, side to side. Power exercise in three, two, one. Here we go. Try not to tap that foot, but if needed, you can tap it. Keep your hips square. You'll want to rotate open. Core stays tight here. Sprinter sit-ups are next on the back in three, two, and one. Wow, cranking up those bicycles now. We take it all the way up, twist, three, two, one on the way down. Last rep. And bring it on up. Inchworms are next. Walk it out to a high plank. Walk it in. Whatever hand you lead with, just switch it up the next time. Next up, we have full burpees. We're gonna jump back into a plank, do a push up, jump at the top, and three, two, one, let's go. Double crunches next in three, 
two. One on the back, hands behind the head. We'll start with the short lever first. Feel the abs contract. You wanna take it one step further, then you can lengthen the legs. Pause at the top, feel the abs bring you in. Last three, two, and one, bring it on up. All right, next up we have a front shuffle. We're gonna pivot with the left foot. So we bring it on up, pivot left, pivot left. This one's fun. Try not to let those hips come forward. <laughs> three, two, one, pivot, three, two, one, pivot. Swing the arms. Do what movement comes naturally with the arms. Let them go, but keep them moving. Now next up is a power lunge. Left leg is gonna move, right leg stays grounded. And three, two, and one. Next up, we have a side plank movement. Do whatever side you see me from. Doesn't matter, I'll be coming to my left. Left forearm on the ground. Start with split stance. Top hand reaches up. We go underneath, reach. Top leg goes in, crunch, return. Reach under, side plank, crunch. If needed, you could release the bottom knee. To advance, stack the feet. That'll challenge the balance a little bit more. And one, other side is next. We will pivot with the right. And three, two, and one, let's go. Next up, power lunge. Right leg moves, left leg grounds. 
Hit that power lunge, other side in three, two, and one. Side plank combo is next. Whatever side you did to do, you're doing it this round. In three, two, and one. I'm coming to my right forearm. Split stance to start. Top hand goes up. Reach under. Crunch it in. Reach under. Crunch it in. If needed, release bottom knee to advance. Stack the feet. Last three, two, and one. Nice, bring it on up. Two more, two more blocks left, y'all. Iso squat with a punch is next. We'll punch four forward and then four to the side as we twist. Get low when you squat. A little sumo stand squat. Four forward. One, two, three, four to the side. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Ab stay tight. So keep that contraction as you breathe through it. Next up, we have fast feet. Y'all, this one's humbling. Maximum effort in three, two, one, fast feet. Drop it low. Come to the booty, Russian twists in three, two, one. Oh goodness. All right, neutral spine. Make sure you're not in that anterior or in a severe posterior tilt. Start with the feet down and now we're just twisting. Go dance, feet come up. Lean back a little bit more. Connect. Twist. Rectus and obliques are really working here. Short, small, isolated movement. Last three, two, and one. <laughs> All right, on to the last block. Sumo squat with the reach. And as we reach, lift the heels up to engage the calf muscles. Last block, y'all. Let's do it. i
Final maximum effort exercise. Jump squats, y'all. Maximum height. In three, two, one, 30 seconds. Leg lifts, hit three, two, and one. Wow. All right, support the pelvis if needed. Engage the lower abs before you even lift. Three, two, one. Exhale. Feel the lower abs engage. Keep the engagement even as you inhale down. Exhale, engage more. So the space in between your hip bones. That's the target area. I want you to feel like a corset is drawing you in, in between the hip bones. Sometimes making that noise does actually help. Slower doesn't mean easier. I am shaking on the way down. And as I hold at the bottom in 10 seconds, we're gonna flutter kick. And three, two, one, hold bottom, flutter kick. We end with a hold in three, two, one, hold. Lift the head, entire abs and abdominal region is engaged. Hold, squeeze, fight through this bird. I'm shaking right there with you. My voice is even shaking. Come on, 10 seconds. Last five, four, three, two, and one. We're done. <laughs> nice work, 25 minutes. That was fun, body weight only. All right, let's do a little stretch, shall we? Let's bring it up, a little bend. So walk the knees in, and we're just gonna take those hips side to side. Decrease the range of motion if needed. Ooh, feels good. If this is accessible, just walk the knees in a little bit more and that might feel a little better. One more round each side. And let's hold center. Curl the toes under, lift the knees. You can scoot it back a little bit, scoot it forward. Ah, oh, get a stretch along the abs. Big deep inhale. As you exhale, walk the hands in, right foot forward, runner's lunge with a reach, into a split stance, hamstring stretch. Let's do that twice more at your own pace, of course. You may want something to hold on to if your balance feels a little wobbly or just widen the stance or base a little bit, that'll help. And last one. Let's do the other side. Quick stretching because this was a quick workout. If you would like to do more stretching, I feel ya. I'm gonna do some more later, but I'm gonna list those videos separately below. I think we have <laughs> one more. Hopefully y'all are keeping me in check. Gotta do that sometimes. All right, face me. Let's do a little side body stretch. Getting that QL. Ooh, it feels good. Open up and then reach. So you're gonna feel this along the side, possibly into that inner thigh, a little bit more than the hamstring here. And then if you want a little bit more hamstrings, face it on in. Let's go ahead and take it to the other side. I don't know, so quick. I could stay there literally all day. If you ever find yourself just sitting down, do some stretching, do these stretches. I find myself sitting down, kind of getting into my 
kids TV shows. And I'm like, why am I watching this? And then I'll like start to stretch and do some mobility work. I'll still watch it. <laughs> all right, face inward, hit those hand knees. And that is all she wrote, folks. I hope you enjoyed this workout as long as you tried your best. That is what matters most. Remember, you and I never have to go at the same speed, same tempo. You may need to go faster than me to feel the challenge that we wanna feel or vice versa. We are all different and unique. Always honor that. Uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all the things your love and support means the absolute world to me. Tag me in your posts and stories on IG. Love to see them. And you should be super proud of yourself. High five. At Laurie Midkiff is my Instagram <laughs> handle. And yeah, that's it, y'all. Wow. The, the cardio got to my brain. So that's all. That's all. All right. Remember, most importantly, though, you rock. Have an amazing rest of the day, my friends.